With the latest iOS 18.2, you can now integrate ChatGPT directly into Siri, unlocking a whole new level of productivity and creativity. There are so many ways to use ChatGPT on iPhones now. Some of them are even more powerful than using ChatGPT app directly. In this video, I'll show you how to set it up, what it can do, and why this is a game changer for iPhone users. Let's dive in. So what are the basic requirements to use ChatGPT with Siri? There are some restrictions. First, you need to have one of the latest iPhone models, iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, or any of the iPhone 16 models. If you have one of the older models, you may be out of luck. Second, you need to have installed iOS 18.2 or later. This is because ChatGPT and Siri integration requires Apple intelligence, and iOS 18.2 updates brings Apple intelligence to iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 16 models only. Finally, the feature is only available in certain regions of the world. Apple is slowly releasing it to all regions, but at the time of making this video, it is only available in these regions. It should be available in other regions soon. Okay, requirements out of the way. Let's see how to properly set up ChatGPT with Siri now. To do this, go into settings, select Apple Intelligence and Siri. Enable Apple Intelligence if you haven't already. This might take some time as it needs to download the AI model on your phone. When you scroll down, you will see ChatGPT option in the extension section. Select this. Here, enable use ChatGPT. Now, you can use ChatGPT without an account, but if you want ChatGPT to keep a record of your request for future use, then you can sign in with your ChatGPT account in this section. So when I go to my ChatGPT app, I can see the requests I made through Siri here for future use. The next section is called Advanced Capabilities. You might have known that ChatGPT has a free version and a paid version for advanced GPT model and more requests. If you are on free version, this daily limit section will tell you if you are over or under the limit for the free version usage. Even if you are over the limit, you can still use ChatGPT. It will use a lower model, which I think should be good for 90% of people. Finally, if you want Siri to confirm with you before it sends a request to ChatGPT, you can toggle this option. But I would like to keep it off. Great! Now, ChatGPT is enabled and integrated with Siri on your iPhone. But how do I use it? One of the simplest way is just to ask Siri to ask ChatGPT something. Let me show you. Hey Siri! Ask ChatGPT to plan a vacation to Europe for seven days with a toddler in November. I would like to visit Germany, France, and Italy. Neat, right? I can directly invoke Siri and get such suggestions without going into the ChatGPT app. This is one way to use ChatGPT. There are more ways. If I ask Siri to ask ChatGPT, it will send the request directly to ChatGPT. But I can simply ask Siri the question and if Siri thinks ChatGPT can answer it better, it will automatically send the request to ChatGPT instead of you asking Siri to ask ChatGPT. For example, hey Siri, give me a recipe to make a vegetarian tomato basil soup. I am lactose intolerant. There, Siri sent the request to ChatGPT automatically and gave a response back to me. I disabled confirm ChatGPT request in settings. If it had been enabled, it would ask me if it can ask ChatGPT before sending the request. If you are in no mood to invoke Siri and talk, you can just type with Siri and ask ChatGPT. Wherever you are on your iPhone, just double tap at the bottom of your screen to invoke type to Siri. Here you can type the same question you would want to ask ChatGPT. I am asking for a workout plan with specific requirements. Siri will now send the request to ChatGPT and give me a response. These are all fine, but ChatGPT app can do pretty much the same, right? With Siri integrated, you can level up your productivity. First off, Siri can also handle conversations with ChatGPT. Here, I had asked about a recipe for tomato basil soup. Let me continue the conversation. Give me a recipe without carrots or basil. Make the serving size as 25 people. And I am allergic to balsamic vinegar. See how ChatGPT and Siri holds the conversation for me? Now I have the recipe here. How do I save it? That's easy too. With every ChatGPT response, on the top there is a copy button. Tap here to copy the whole response and paste it anywhere you want. 
But where would you usually want such things to be saved? To Apple Notes, right? With Siri, that's even easier. Check it out. Hey Siri, save it to my Apple Notes. That's it. Siri will automatically save the response as a new note in Apple Notes. I can refer back anytime later in the Apple Notes app. But there is one more way that I personally just love. Let me show you. I have a new Apple Note page open here. Now I just invoke Siri and ask, create a draft email for me to send it to my boss asking for a week long vacation. Keep the tone very formal and polite. Just look at this. The whole response got automatically inserted to this open notes page here in perfect formatting. I can just ask ChatGPT and Siri for any draft or template that I need and save it to Apple Notes directly. Can you see? We are slowly making ChatGPT Siri integration more complex and advanced, but there is even more. And this is where it starts getting very exciting. Let's say you are looking at something on your screen and you would like to know more details about it. Siri and ChatGPT can help you here with on-screen awareness. I'm gonna ask, hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to look and tell me how many calories are in this. Siri will ask if it can share a photo or a screenshot of what's on the screen. Once I agree to it, Siri will send the screenshot to ChatGPT and it'll automatically give me a response. This is so cool, right? I don't have to download the image, upload to ChatGPT in its app and all that workaround. Let me show you one more example. I'm in my Apple Notes with notes about my holiday gift guide. Let me ask ChatGPT to help me decide on one. Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to look at what's on my screen and help me decide on just one gift for my husband. Now Siri asks for the same permissions. Now, instead of sharing the screenshot, let me tap here and select share full content because I have more ideas below as well. Here you can see Siri is sending the whole note to ChatGPT. When I hit send, ChatGPT will analyze it and share the response with me. This works well in any Apple apps like Safari, Apple Notes and even files. I'll show you one more example. This is a very complex document and I want to ask ChatGPT to help me make sense out of it. Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to look at this document and simplify it for me. I share renter's agreement, insurance and tax papers to help simplify it for me. Try it out, it has come in very handy for me. Okay, let's kick things up a notch. ChatGPT is great at drafting emails, documents and text. With Apple Intelligence and ChatGPT integrated, you can get help from ChatGPT right from where you will type the most. You know, emails, messages, notes or documents. Why don't I show it to you with an example. I'm in my mail app. I'm trying to write an email to Apple requesting for a collaboration. ChatGPT can write it way better than me. So why don't I ask ChatGPT? To do this, I can long press anywhere on the text area. Now I will find for writing tools. When I tap on it, Apple Intelligence writing tools come up. For me, Apple Intelligence is good, but ChatGPT is way better. So I scroll up and tap on compose here. This is all ChatGPT. I will ask ChatGPT here to compose an email to Apple requesting a collaboration. ChatGPT is requesting some additional details. Let me provide those as well here. There you go. With just one prompt, ChatGPT has written a whole email for me and it did a great job too. All I need to do is just hit that send. This just saved me a lot of time. You know, this ChatGPT using writing tool feature is so useful for me. I can use this in Apple Notes as well when I'm trying to draft a video idea that I just got for planning a vacation and saving it directly in my Apple Notes. And if you want to attach a file or image while you are trying to use writing tools, you can do that too. Let me show you. I'm trying to compose an email and I want to include a summary of this PDF file in my email. To do this, I can open writing tools on my mail app, go down to compose. Here in the compose section, I can tap on this plus icon on the side to attach an image or a file. I will select file and choose the PDF from the files app. If I want to attach a screenshot or a photo, I can do that too with the same option here. 
Now I will ask ChatGPT to summarize this PDF for me and ChatGPT will summarize it neatly and insert the summarized text right into my email which I can edit it later to my needs. I use this summarizing a file feature right inside my notes app too. So next time remember to use ChatGPT whenever you can see the writing tool option to draft an email, to create a note, to write a nice birthday message right from the messaging app. ChatGPT can do the work for you. We have covered a lot already. But I will end this video with two more useful features of ChatGPT Siri integration. Apple Intelligence can generate emojis and illustrative images using Image Playground. But ChatGPT can generate lifelike images of any description, right? With Siri and ChatGPT, it's even easier to generate images wherever you need. For example, I'm texting someone on WhatsApp and it would be nice to generate an ultra-realistic image over a regular emoji. So I will ask, hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to generate an ultra-realistic image of a cute crying cat. Look at that image, how detailed and realistic it is over the same prompt given to Apple Intelligence Image Playground. I can now tap here to save this image directly to my gallery and send it instead of a regular emoji. And finally, iPhone 16 models which has the camera control button, you can long press the camera control button to invoke visual intelligence. This is just basically asking ChatGPT. Here I have something on my desk. To ask ChatGPT about it, I can simply point the camera, tap on Ask, which will send the photo to ChatGPT, where ChatGPT will instantly recognize and give me answers. But I can continue the conversation to ask more questions related to it. I recently saw a beautiful sunglass at an airport and did not know how to identify it to buy later. ChatGPT and Visual Intelligence will be very helpful in such scenarios. So, there you have it, the complete guide to using ChatGPT with Siri and Apple Intelligence in iOS 18.2. Personally, I'm finding myself using it more and more because of its deep integration. Using ChatGPT through Apple is also way more secure because Apple doesn't allow any personal or secure information to go to OpenAI not even your IP address or specific location. If it was ChatGPT app or any third-party app, they could have as much personal information as it wants because they have full control. Okay, I hope this video was useful. If it was, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me make more such content. I'll see you all in another video. Until then, this is Anjana. Bye-bye.